Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we will explore how to use volatility to analyze computer's memory snapshot and uncover hidden clues about what's been happening on it. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So let's start with the installation. So this is the GitHub repo of the volatility and uh, you can follow the steps here. I mean, this is a pretty huge tool and this works like a charm and it does support a lot of profiles. It can be Windows or it can be Linux and stuff. I do have a Windows dump with me. So I'll try to show some stuff that you can do on that. And you can find out a lot of dumps which you can analyze it with the help of volatility from several CTFs or even from the hack the box share lock. So feel free to go and check them out. So the process of installation is pretty straightforward here. You can you need to just go to the releases and you do have your uh, versions here so it's supported for windows mac and linux so i'm going to show this process on my wsl which is nothing but ubuntu so wget and just paste the url which you copied so unzip this so now we have some now we do have a directory so cd volatility so you do have here the volatility binary so this is the main thing so the one thing you can do is like you can add this volatility binary to your path and you can access it from everywhere so what you need to do is like sudo mv volatility i mean you can rename it to like simply volatility instead of that version and uh, the operating system type and all and you can just move to the user bin directory and you can use it from wherever you want so i've already done that and feel free to do it or else you can just keep it here not an issue so volatility and that's how it works so you need to specify some options let's go and go with few options and you can also run this on windows the windows version also works fine so uh, I mean, they do have a very good support for Mac as well, but uh, I I didn't test it that out, but feel free to test it out. And let's start with analyzing the memory dump. So imagine you do have a memory dump. So memory dump can be of like different file types. It can be like a bin. The one I have here is a dot bin. It can be something like dot IMG or something like that. So you can just go and check that out. So uh, uh, let's assume that you have a memory dump and you don't have any idea of like where it's being extracted from like what operating system it is and stuff like that so this is the first step you need to do so volatility uh, hyphen f you need to specify this option every time dump dot bin which is my dump here and you have an option like if you see here there are so many options here like each of them has like separate things i mean i, mean, I can show all of them but i'll try to show max okay which are quite useful and uh, what you need to run is image info so this runs a kind of a small scan and tries to identify what type of profile this is so profile in the sense like what operating system to keep it simple which is going to be very very useful in order to run the other type of scans on this dump so uh, a quick spoiler this is a windows based dump so it must be showing something related to windows so this is based on windows uh, 7 or something yeah. and once we are done with the pro uh, profile we'll go and do some process list like ident identify the process so this is a memory guys so memory in the sense like ram here the primary memory so ram does hold a lot of information like all these commands that i'm typing is going to be stored somewhere in my ram for some time and all the processes files open and stuff like that there's a lot of stuff that ram holds so whenever you are in a digital forensic scenario then ram plays a crucial role so once you get a dump of a ram then you do get a lot of information from that so fast forward it took like three or four minutes and it tried to suggest me few profiles only the profile the image analysis part is like quite time taking but rest all it's fine so i would now uh, you can see it's mostly based on windows sp so windows 7 or windows 2008 server or something like that so i'll go with the first profile 
and let's see if we can dump some information from this and it gives some basic information like image time when it was created and stuff like that it's like on 2022 so this is a good information as well and this and I'll, this uh, dump is taken from a kind of uh, virtual machine so we can see the process and all are kind of simple so now let's go uh, now every time you, you specify your dump you also need to specify an option called as profile so this profile plays a crucial role you need to give like tag tap or hyphen hyphen profile equal to and the profile name and now let's see the information related to processes so the tool option here is a process tree so it dumps all the process information that uh, you can see and it's in a tree format so you can see the child processes as well here so you can see explorer.exe uh, notepad msh and stuff like that so this even helps you in the uh, malware analysis as well you can find out some rogue processes that are running on your system so this is kind of cool and if you just want to see some active processes then you can just go with something like ps list but personally i like running ps3 because it gives me a detailed information on like and also the child process so that most of the time malware doesn't run as like a main process it runs as a child process so ps3 is going to be helpful there but ps list if you want to see an overview on like what processes are running you can see msh so search index and edge browser and all some svc host these are some system process running out there so this is a cool thing to do uh now this is uh if you want to see some more detailed view uh you can view something like psx view so this gives like much more detailed view like uh, something like this you know offset offset is like an address if you want to dump i'll tell you where you will be using this offset if you want to dump something related to the process there is an option within the volatility framework where you can use dump files and you can just dump the process information and so you can see some information here so process with this even written process id and the offset value so this is like an address so which you can use to dump i'll show you that as well and some more some other information so this is kind of cool so now let's go with something like dll enumeration and handle enumeration so these are like simple just go with something like dll dll list so dlls are like uh, some kind of like a mem uh, kind of like registers kind of like some kind of an database within windows i mean all these options might not work in when you are dealing with a linux based memory dump because that's going to be quite kind of different and you can go through them if you find something rogue you can just go through them and identify some information and you can even see some command line options that are uh like you can see what msh is using so this is the kind of cool thing so msh and what command line it's actually running so every time you open a shortcut some command is going to be running in the background so that's what it says and you can see some kind of dlls that every process is using which is kind of cool you know we can analyze a lot from that and uh, that being said let's go to network connections which is kind of oh, sorry it went it got too small yeah you need to you can dump the mem uh, network information as well using the command called netscan this works even for the linux uh dumps so you can feel free to check that out so it gives you some information related to the netscan like it's like netstat hyphen anvo kind of command which tries to give you the address for and does it is trying to connect and stuff like that so this is kind of cool i'll just make this bit smaller so that you can see all the information here so as i told you this is nothing but like a netstat hyphen anvo command uh, like it tries to uh, identify that information you can see what process is connecting to what and what port is being served and stuff like that and you can even see connections that are being made so there are some connections through the four, port 443 so what this machine is trying to connect to this machine and stuff like that you can go and check that out and registry analysis so when you are dealing with windows an important thing here is going to be registry so registries do contain a lot of information it can even contain some hidden passwords and hidden content as well which might be useful and the option here is like hive list so it just dumps all the registry information and stuff like that uh, you do have a physical offset here which you can use to dump and show you that as well but uh, let's get some basic stuff done and you can also do some file analysis 
uh, like RAM does contain the information of all the files opened and all you can even dump some files as well. So let's see uh, file scan and let's dump some files maybe. Let's see. I'll show you how to dump the files. Uh, okay, so now you do have some files here. Uh, most of them are like system. I think we do have a SAM file, which is kind of uh, cool, you know. Uh, let's dump. Let's try to dump SAM. I think it may not be possible, but let's try to do it. I just copied the physical address here. Okay, and we do have like a lot of files. I mean, this is an OS, right? So you do have a lot of files running in the background like it can be system files and stuff like that so it kept, it kept on scrolling okay so now let's try to dump that file maybe so volatility framework and uh, you pro, you pro, uh, mentioned the profile you need to op uh, run an option dump files so this is kind of cool and hyphen q and you need to provide the offset or nothing but the physical address and uh, you can just hit enter i think you need to provide a directory or something like that Okay, you need to provide a dump directory. So hyphen hyphen dump directory. I mean, which to which directory you want to dump? So I'll say test. Let's see if it works. Oh, so let's make a directory then. So yeah, it's done. So you do need to make a directory, and that's it. So it didn't dump actually maybe uh, maybe it does require like a lot of privileges and all but that's how you need to do that so I mean you can, if you find some kind of a text file or some kind of a JSON file kind of thing you can just dump it through this way I don't know since I'm going with a SAM file I'm not sure I'm like very unsure about because SAM file itself is like a lot of big file so I mean this by this dump itself is like 400 MB so I think AM file is also going to be like 200 MB and stuff like that. So I guess it's not technically possible, but this is how you can dump files. So whenever you find a physical offset or physical address of a file or a DLL or whatever it is, you can just use this option and you, know, you can dump it out. So that's a cool thing. And uh, there are some other options as well. You can even do command scan. I mean, you can run through some commands and check cmd scan i guess let's see i mean what commands uh that actually ran on this machine so which is kind of cool you know like you can even uncover some information you can see uh, an attacker is trying to run a powershell based encoded maybe this may be some kind of an encoding kind of thing you can even see a uh, parse dot text so you can see uh the attacker is trying to I um, mean transfer the files to his SMB share here. So you can see some commands here, which is going to be very, very useful here. And uh, you can see some commands and all. You can just try to analyze them. Uh, this may be some kind of base 64 encoding base 64 or base 32 because PowerShell uses that most of the time. So that's how it goes. And let's see some other options. Hyphen hyphen help and uh, you do have some vmware info which may not be quite useful sessions save pseudo screenshot i mean i didn't try that out you can do try that out uh, memory dump dump the addressable memory for a process okay so this can be crucial you can dump the memory and you can use it later for like dumping all the files and all uh let's see if i can you can even try hash dump let's try this out i mean i never tried it out but let's try hash dump it does it's it's trying to dump all the hashes and all i mean let's see if it works or not and also guys uh, uh based on my experience uh, this may not give out like all the valid results it tries to give out as much as good possible information it can so you can see we dumped out few hashes as well so that's it so whenever so there is a scene in mr robot where whenever he feels that something he did something bad he's just gonna drill out his uh, a motherboard and all those stuff and fry out those cpu and all those things because you know your your memory or like your ram hold a lot of information so let's see say any other options that we can go through uh print key print registry key uh, i mean once you are able to dump the hashes i think it's a lot of thing i mean imagine a scenario where someone locks his pc where you can just pull out his ram and you can just dump that 
thing and you can just go and see you can just try to dump his hashes and later crack it so you need to use strong passwords guys so you can even see clipboard i don't know i mean windows 7 doesn't have clipboard history and also it might not work but if you are trying to do it on some later versions then it might definitely work file scans hash dump hive list so registry key hive scan and yeah there are a lot of options guys you can even see internet explorer history so let's try this out because i saw msh running uh, i don't know i saw msh running like couple of times here in the process information let's try it out if it dumps out something and also this might also take some time and that being said i think really thank you guys for watching this video till the end i hope i made some sense in terms of digital forensics i mean I'm, i'll try to cover some other tools that is in terms of digital forensics and all if you do have some suggestions do let me know in the comment section or reach out to me through my email and all and i mean let's wait till this command is done and i'll just wind up this video and uh, also guys thank you for watching this video till the end i mean it means a lot and uh, thanks for all the support i mean and you can see it didn't didn't give up any history because maybe this guy didn't browse or maybe the tool is faulty so yeah that being said thank you guys i'll see you in the next one bye take care